How's it going everyone? It's Ben Foggins, Media Corner, back again with a brand new video for today. Welcome back to the movie review, aka for our sole review video for today. This time for this new episode for the series, it's going to be my review on the 2023 computer animated romantic comedy drama film. And this is the newest animated film from my favorite animation studio of all time, which is of course Pixar. And as you guys can tell from the title of this video, of course I'm here to review Elemental. Now, Elemental is the latest Pixar film, and this is directed by Peter Soen, who you may know him as the director of The Good Dinosaur. So this is his second film that he's worked on with Pixar here. And this film is set in a in a in a world that's been inhabited by the four different elements of nature, which are of course Earth, Water, Fire, and Air. And in this film, basically, basically the whole what the whole story of this film is that we follow this fiery character named Ember, voiced by Leah Lewis. And she lives in a convenience store that's been run by her father and mother. And um, for Ember's father, uh, Bernie, voiced by uh, Ronnie Del Carmen, uh, basically he, he's about to retire from running the store and he wants to give that possession to his daughter. And so for Ember, she's kind of in a, in a debate if she wants to run the store when once her father retires. But what ends up happening is that a leak occurs and it's affecting the store and it could also mean the possibility of the store to be closed down for good. And so for Ember, she decides to basically uh, save the store and by doing that is that she teams up with this uh, water guy named Wade, voiced by Muhammadu Afi. And we see both of these characters trying to work together to try and save Ember's home. And we also see these two characters start to develop a forbidden relationship here. So that's pretty much the story of Elemental. Now, of course, this was one of my most anticipated movies for this year, as well as for the summer of this year. Like, I was so excited for Elemental. And when it comes to Pixar films, no matter what they make, I always tend to really enjoy their movies. Well, in terms of this decade for Pixar films... Like at the very start, we had Onward, which was which that was released theatrically, and I really enjoyed that film. Although I wouldn't say it's like the next Pixar classic, but it was still a great film. However, for the next three films that we got after Onward, you know, all three of them had to skip cinemas entirely due to the whole uh, pandemic situation, and they ended up being released on Disney Plus. Like we've had Saul, Luca, and Turning Red, which I really enjoyed those movies. Like Saul, I thought it was fantastic. Luca was great, although I wouldn't say it's like the next Pixar classic, and Turning Red, which I had a lot of fun with. And then the last Pixar film that we got, which was uh, Lightyear, which that was the film that finally, that, that was the Pixar film that was finally re being able to be released theatrically after all this time since the whole pandemic situation. And um, I went to see that film uh, last year when it came out, and um, I did enjoy it, but it didn't really meet my expectations, though. And I did find the film a bit disappointing, but I didn't hate the film or anything like that. And... You know, the film didn't really do well when it came out in, in, when, in the summer of uh, last year. Like, it didn't make much money at the box office or anything like that. But once I saw the trailers for this film, I was immediately, like I said, I was, I was immediately, immediately looking forward to this film here. And the way it looked and everything like that looked absolutely beautiful here from the way the, the animation looked here for this film here. And um, I didn't even know much of the cast who were in the film here, but I was surprised that this was from the director of The Good Dinosaur, Peter Soren, in which for his very first film that he made with Pixar, I thought it was a good start to him as a director. So I was really intrigued to see what he was going to do for his new film with Pixar here. And uh, this film came out uh, back in uh, June of this year. Like it came out um, the exact same day as The Flash did in the US. Well, in the UK, it came out in July and it came out the exact same day as the new Insidious movie did, which I went to see that, I went to see that film first. And the next day I, w I went to see this film and we jumped for free and I still have my ticket for the film which I do have right here and I saw this in a really big screening with a lot of people on the screen that I was in like there was a lot of kids and adults in the exact same screen that I was in and after watching this whole movie here um I would definitely say that I enjoy this film a, a little bit more than like yeah here but I wouldn't say this film is like the next Pixar classic or anything like that but I still had a really good time with this film but I just kind of wish this film could have fully meet my expectations here but still though I had I didn't have a ter I didn't have like a terrible time watching this film here from beginning to end here
What I really liked in Elemental is, of course, the animation here, and which I found the animation here for this film to be absolutely outstanding, yet visually gorgeous here, from the overall look of the film to the character designs and the character models, which I thought all that here was absolutely visually good looking here. And I can also say as well, it's definitely one of Pixar's most visually good looking films they've done in most recent years here. Like, for the way the characters look in the film, just like I said, it is absolutely fantastic here. Like, the, the way the water people look in the film, which you get to see like bubbles inside of them. And I thought all that here was very well detailed and yet yeah, absolutely fantastic here. And the way the fire people look in the film is also fantastic as well and yet yeah, very well detailed here. Like, when we get to see a few sparks coming out of them, which I thought all that was really impressive to look at. And speaking of the characters, um, I do find these characters likable here, but I wouldn't say these characters are, are like super memorable or anything like that, but I still really like these characters here. And as for the story, the best way I can describe what this whole story is like for me, it's kind of half and half for me because there was some portion, half portions of its story that I did like. Mostly between the relationship between Ember and Wade in the film, which I found their story, their I found that part, that storyline in the film to be really sweet and all of that, where we see them start, where we see their relationship develop a lot more than more deeper than ever. Like we see them start to question themselves, thinking if that if their relationship could work out or not, since they're pretty since they're different from each other, since Ember's fire and Wade is water. And there were some parts of its story that I felt, uh, other portions of its story that I felt were a bit unhandled here. And I just kind of felt some parts of the story could have been handled a little bit more better here. And that's another nitpick I have with the film here. And as for the concept, it is pretty, pretty unique here where it's basically about, where it's basically a city full of elements here. Uh, but there were some parts of it, um, but there were some parts of it in this film here that did kind of feel similar to like other properties from Pixar here. Like say, it kind of took some like, um, essence of like out of like say inside out or coco or anything like that but still though i found the concept to be a little bit creative here but again there was some little bit similarities to other like properties from pixar here uh but overall in the end guys um elemental i definitely had a really good time with this new pixar film here but again i just kind of wish this film could have fully met my expectations here of being the next pixar classic here but it is still a not too bad of a film here like it still has you know gorgeous animation here it has likable characters and it has a story that is kind of half and half to me because like i said there were some portions of it that i did like while there are some other portions of it that I kind of felt could have been handled a little bit more better and the concept is pretty unique but it does have some little bit of similarities to other like properties from pixar here but um, if you're a massive fan of Pixar or anything like that, I could definitely say you would definitely have a really good time with this new Pixar flick here. Yeah. And this is definitely a good one for the kids here. Yeah. So that's pretty much all to say about Elemental. I'm going to give Elemental three and a half out of five. Like I said, I definitely did enjoy this new Pixar film here, but again, I just kind of wish this film could have met my expectations of being like the next Pixar classic here. But this certainly wasn't, but I certainly did not have like a terrible time watching this new Pixar film here. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching my ACAF I saw review on Elemental. And let me know what you think of this movie if you have seen this already or if you just recently checked out this film. Did you have a really good time with this or was this not really a popcorn tree? As always, thank you guys so much for watching and this is Ben Foggins Media Corner signing off.